Hey guys, this is Jessica. Welcome back to my channel. So as you know, there is this peach craze going around, but I'm kind of cheap and I don't want to pay um, 40 to 50 to 60 dollars for um, one of those new peach palettes out from like Kylie Jenner, Too Faced, because I ain't got the money to be paying $50 for those palettes. So I was looking at my makeup that I did have and I do have some peach colors. Um, so I pulled a couple of my palettes and I created this peach look and I am using a lot of affordable makeup items. So I hope you enjoy this video. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And also, don't forget to click the little bell by the subscribe button so you're notified of when I post new videos. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial as always. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. I love responding to your comments, getting the good and the bad. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you enjoy it. All right, guys, so let's get this peach face going. I'm going to start out, out, out. I'm going to start off with my e.l.f. Uh, mineral face primer, and I am just concentrating it in my T-zone area since that is where I get the most oil on my face. So I'm just really putting it in that area. So our foundation we are wearing today is from Tarte, and it is the Amazonian Clay Foundation in the color Light Neutral. This is one of my favorite foundations. It matches my skin really good. It has buildable coverage, and it looks amazing on me. Um, and the brush I am using it is from It Cosmetics, and it is their flat top um, brush foundation brush and it's pretty good if you like a high-end brush so for my concealer I am this is new I'm trying it's from elf and it is their blemish concealer in the color light beige um, it smells really good I'm not really sure about the coverage but it will work in a pinch, I'm sure. Of course, maybe if I had, maybe if I got a shade lighter. So I'm just taking a damp sponge and just blending it out. And I'm also going to put it um, places where I want to highlight. So that's under the eyes, my chin, top of my forehead, around my nose area, um, any places that I notice get red on my face. And I'm taking that wet sponge and I'm just blending it in. So for my powder, I'm using the Kat Von D Press Powder in Light, number 46. Then I'm just taking um, this brush. It is a It Cosmetics brush. And I'm just pressing that powder into my skin so I don't mess up my foundation work and my concealer work. And this powder is amazing. It makes your skin look even more matte from the matte foundation, so it's great. Um, now I'm just gonna fill in my brows. I have a love-hate relationship with my brows. So this is another new product I'm trying. It's from e.l.f. and it is their brow pencil. This is in the color Neutral Brown. And I did like the way it made my brows look. It was easy to apply, um, so yeah. You know, a brow should be family members, not twins. So I have to try to remember. Sometimes one of my brows goes a little bit wonky, but we'll do what we can. Then I don't have any gel, so I just take some of my powder and a fluffy brush, and I sweep some powder through so it will stay. So this is another new product from e.l.f. that I'm trying. It is their Blush Contour Duo. It's in the color Fiji, and it's the matte one. This is very similar to the NARS Blush Contour Duo. And I have to say, I love this so much. The contour color, it's a great color. The blush is great. It's definitely something I will be wearing all the freaking time. And I'm just using a blush brush from Morphe. 
and um, the blush in there is also matte too and it just gives you a really soft finish it's a really pretty color actually and blended with the bronzer or contour color it looks so freaking good and this was only like three dollars from elf so I mean you really can't beat that right so now I'm going to start on my eyes I'm going to use my urban decay eyeshadow primer potion potion in uh, original the OG and I'm just going to put it all over my lid so for um, the palette I am using today, it is going to be from Lime Crime. These do have peach colors in them. And I'm only going to be using these two colors, which is Divine and Rebirth. So just on a shader brush, I'm taking that color Divine and I'm just putting it into my crease. Then I'm going to take the color Rebirth, which is that beautiful peach pinky color and um, I think this brush is a Japanese brush I'm not sure but I'm just putting it all over my eyelid and kind of blending it up into that crease color just so it's like a seamless color and it's not like oh peach and then oh you know that beautiful nudish brownish color <laughs> then I'm going to take this color it's from Makeup Geek and sticking with our peach theme this is peach smoothie so I'm just taking a, um, a blending brush or a nice fluffy brush and I'm just blending out that crease color a little bit more because you just want everything to seem seamless blending is your best friend <laughs> Then I'm going to take this color by NYX. It is called Strike a Pose, and it's just a soft brown matte color. And the brush I'm using is from Morphe, and it is a crease brush. So I'm just kind of defining my outer corner and blending it up into my crease and doing small circular motions. That way it'll blend a whole lot easier with all of the other colors. And I forgot to contour my nose, so that is what I'm doing right now with that contour um, palette from e.l.f. with the blush and the contour. And then um, I'm also just going to take my Real Techniques fluffy setting brush and just kind of blend it out. Because you don't want any visible lines for a contour. So now I'm taking the e.l.f. liquid liner in jet black and I am just going to line my eyes. I was going to do a wing, but then I changed my mind. I was like, nah, I'll just do straight liner today. <laughs> so for my waterline, I'm taking this color. It's a Rimmel eyeliner and it's in the color is in the nude number two and three. And I am just lining my waterline. This will make our eyes look even more wide and more awake if you put a nude um, color in your waterline. So I'm just going to take that NYX color strike a pose on my uh, Morphe crease brush. And I'm just going to put a little bit of color under my bottom lashes. So before I do my lashes, I'm just going to set it with some NYX. Uh, matte finishing setting spray and I'm just going to coat my lashes with uh, some mascara this is uh, from Maybelline define a lash and it's a good dry mascara so for my lashes it'll hold very good so the lashes I'm using today are my one of my favorites Ardell wispy lashes if you would like a how-to tutorial on how to do lashes, I do have a video. Um, I will link it down below as long, along with everything else that I'm wearing. Well, this is a lot of talking. <laughs> and I will also put a link up in the corner uh, left or right area um, 
linking that video of how I do my lashes from start to finish. And lashes just bring the look all together. So now I'm just taking an old mascara wand and brushing it through my lashes and the false lashes so they just um, go together. And I'm just going to take some Max Factor mascara and just coat my bottom lashes. And I'm telling you, lashes just bring this look all together. <laughs> so now I'm just going to do my lips. I'm lining my lips. This is the a NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the color Stockholm, which is number 28, which is one of my favorite uh, matte cream lipsticks from NYX. I didn't even know they had these suede um, lip liner pen, uh, pencils in suede. So I was like, heck yeah. So this is just so the lipstick has something to stick to. So um, instead of a lipstick, I'm just going to be doing a lip gloss. This is from ColourPop. It is their cream lip gloss in the color Wayho. It's just a beautiful nude um, cream lip gloss. They have three different finishes. They have the, their sheer, they have cream, and metallic. Their cream ones are more pigmented than a regular lip gloss. Um, so definitely check them out. I think they're only like $6 each and they are not sticky whatsoever and they have a wide range of colors. I love me some ColourPop, as you can tell. And so the highlighter I'm using today is also from ColourPop in the color Lunch Money. This is my hands down favorite highlighter from them. It's great for us paler people. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the highlight in my uh, tear duct and just to highlight the tip of my nose. And we are going to also highlight the top cheekbones. I mean, just look at that highlight. Come on. It's so good. <laughs> and we're just going to put a little bit of highlight on our cupid's bow to draw attention to the lips. So yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this look and definitely leave a comment and let me know what you think. Thank you for watching.